Hello and welcome back to a bookish video from the Mouse Diva. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> up, I've been all around the world. Uh, every city, every place. <laughs> So today we have the October 2023 Books Inside Boxes subscription box unboxing. This is their third month. So it's a new book subscription box and this one's special because this one supports independent bookstores. So this is how this box works. Each month a different independent bookstore is selected from a different state than previous months. The books are bought from that independent bookstore and the book takes place in that state. So it's a very unique, unique concept there. We never know what state is going to be represented. All we know is that it's not going to be the states that have already been represented <laughs> on Instagram. She gives us um, a little clue each month, which I pretty well sucked at. Um, this month I thought I had it from her clue and no, nope, didn't have it because the little letter that she writes, which I love her letters that go in the boxes because um, they normally, you know, they'll tell about the independent bookstore and then they might tell a little interesting fact about that area or about the bookstore in itself. So this month, welcome to the birthplace of jazz and crawfish capital of the world, Louisiana. If you're from Louisiana, give this video a thumbs up. And actually, you know what? If you're not from Louisiana, give this video a thumbs up. When I think of Louisiana, my mind goes straight to vampires and fictional worlds of Anne Rice and Charlene Harris. As tempt as I was to include a vampire book for our October box, I decided to go with a mystery. The Cutting Season. So, this takes us to a plantation which in modern times has shifted to showcasing antebellum reenactments during the day and hosting events at night. When a body is discovered on the property, an innocent worker is framed. The property manager, Karen Gray, uncovers a ruthless plot to keep secret both the identity of the real killer and the truth about historic events on the property. A twisty mystery that will keep you turning the pages. So I have actually never heard of this author. She's the author of Pleasantville, winner of the Harper Lee Prize for Legal Fiction. Oh my gosh. I just wish I could read all day. Wouldn't that be a dream? Okay. She, I like this. She has included just a little postcard that, um, about the area that the bookstore, um, which is Conundrum in St. Francisville, Louisiana. So, that's, that's neat that she's included that in there. So our partnered indie bookstore is the Conundrum in St. Francisville, Louisiana. Book lovers Missy and Rob opened a book and puzzle store in this small town on property that they purchased after evacuating Hurricane Katrina. Its name comes from repeatedly being asked why they would open a bookstore in such a small town. It's a conundrum. Yet here they are thriving and providing a lovely bookstore and community gathering space where one did not previously exist. Fun additional note. See, this is what I like. The little side things, the little tidbit she throws in. Um, what? They own a football team in England. 
the Wycombe Wanderers. The owners of this bookstore own a football team? Miss, oh my gosh, that's a, that's a book right there. That's a story. Missy kindly sent me their book sto their store bookmarks. So, bookmarks. And stickers. And a St. Francisville postcard to share. Okay, I love this. Stuck in a book. I love the little stickers she sends. And included this month as a bookish gift is a tote from the bookstore. Now the bookstore didn't give her these to put into the boxes. These are actually part of the purchased gifts that go in the box. Oh my gosh. That smells so good because something, ugh, something in here smells so good. Okay, speaking of gifts, if you subscribe to Books Inside Boxes, and there's a comment section when you order. Comment that you learned about them through the Mouse Diva and you will get an extra gift in your first box. Okay, so we have two more gifts to open. And, well, I'm not gonna read. I'm just gonna open this one. I love how she did the jack-o'-lanterns, um, the little baggie here, because it is an October box after all. Mm, open, okay. What do we have? Oh, oh my goodness. Do I have milk? I need milk. This is an original, oh my gosh. It is from the New Orleans famous Praline Company. And we got two of them. So what this means is that I need to eat one now and then I need to hide the other one because I don't want to share. And if Mr. Mouse Diva sees us, he's going to want one. Yeah. I'm not sharing my bookish gifts. Okay. And then she has put this nice little sheer black bow on here. So let's. Oh, she really taped this well, so I'm actually going to have to rip it and can't save the tissue paper. Okay, here we go. It's whatever it is smells really good. Like it's made the bag smell good. Oh my gosh, that just, what is this scent? <laughs> it's an alligator. <laughs> But it's a really, mm, it's a really good smell, an alligator. <laughs> All right, let's see what she has to say about the funny little alligator here with the eyelashes. Literally, the alligator has eyelashes. Um, she says this alligator bath bomb is handmade in New Orleans by essentially Nola and a taste of the state with a duo of the pralines made in, also made in Louis, Louisiana. Um, she says, thank you for supporting indie bookstores. Happy reading, happy Halloween, Karen. Oh. Okay guys, I kid you not, I am editing this and I needed to check something on my phone. So I just happened to go to Instagram and I want to show you what Books Inside Boxes posted today. This is so like satisfying to watch. This book sounds really, really good. Mmm, and it's such, I mean, it's like the perfect read for October. But I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get to it. Okay, oh. So I would love to hear what you guys are reading right now. Comment below, let me know. Until the next page.
Every city, every place 